Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the cleaning. It's a monthly cleaning on the 2018 Lourdes Hydro Fix. People are asking about it, a little confused about the instructions, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, first things first, you want to get 500 milliliters of water. It doesn't matter what kind of water, it can be filtered water, it can be tap water. I'm using tap water, it doesn't matter, I'm not going to be drinking it. And then what I'm going to do is, first you always want to unplug the machine too whenever you're doing this. That way there's no electricity running through it. All right, so first I take the pitcher off of the unit because you never want to run the pitcher while you're doing this cleaning. And also make sure to watch the whole video just in case I say something that, you know, is important later that, you know, it's important to watch the whole thing. So this is what I do. I take off the cap and I take out the hydrogen catcher, okay? So then this is what I do. And never put citric acid directly into the pitcher first. Never do that. Actually, the instructions will tell you to put water in here first and then you can add citric acid. You can do it that way, but for me, I wanna take extra special care of my Lourdes Hydro Fix. And so this is what I do. I'll take the 500 milliliters of water and then I'll take one teaspoon and it's just a level teaspoon and I'll put it in this water here and then I'll mix it and completely dissolve it before I ever put it in the machine. Then once it's all dissolved, then I'll simply pour it into the machine. Well, not into the machine, into the pitcher. All right, so there. The citric acid that I use, you really wanna make sure to use really quality stuff. I did a lot of research on this and I found out that a lot of the Chinese products that claim that they're 100% citric acid are not actually 100% citric acid. What a surprise, right? So this stuff is actually made in America. It's 100% pure citric acid and it even goes through a special process where it's more fine, so that way, it dissolves in the water really, really nicely and leaves less of a residue or is less likely to leave a residue. If you guys wanna know what type of citric acid I'm using, I'll go ahead and put a link down below. And if you guys find something that you believe works better, you're always welcome to share and I'm always up to learning. So do it that way. Now, when the water is in the pitcher, again, never put it back on the machine, never run it. I leave it off the, pit, off the machine, you know, just to be cautious. You leave the water in here for 10 minutes. If you're doing this once a month, you leave it in there for 10 minutes. You can leave it as long as 30 minutes if you like. Now, if you're not cleaning your machine every month, I would recommend putting it on a calendar somewhere, how often you need to clean your unit because, you know, we all forget, right? So if it goes over that amount of time, if it's been two months or even three months, and if you see some buildup, you can leave the water in here as long as two hours. You can even go as long as 12 hours. This is something that you could never do, for example, on the original Lourdes. The membrane was not the quality that this one has. This new machine, everything is so robust that this membrane, it's okay for you to even leave the water in here for 12 hours if you really want to. But you really only need 10 to 30 minutes if you're doing it every month. Even if you don't see any buildup, it maintains the membrane, so you really, really wanna do that. So once you do that, let's just say that it's been 10 minutes or half an hour, I would dump this water into the sink and then what I would do is make sure to just give it a nice thorough cleaning since you already did it. So I would rinse the pitcher out and I would wash it with my designated Hydrofix sponge that I got here that's really soft. And I put a lot of water in here and I just make sure not to get anything into the electrodes, just clean the pitcher. I have another video about how I do that. Clean the hydrogen catcher, clean the lid. Really make sure to rinse this thing thoroughly. Three, thoroughly. <laughs> three times, four times, six times, you know, just make sure that it's really, really clean and very well rinsed because you don't want any citric acid residue. Once that's done, that's pretty much about it, unless for some reason you wanna go above and beyond and with the unit, you can actually drain the unit if you want and you can clean kind of in the basement area where the little puddle of water is. If you drain it, you can use a paper towel or you can use some Q-tips to get the little dust out of there. You can even remove the filter if you wanna clean in around you know, the different areas of the unit. And you can do that if you like. Just make sure to remember that when you're moving the unit, move it very slowly so you don't slosh the water around or damage anything. Sometimes I just bring a bowl over to where the unit is and I'll lift the unit very slowly and carefully and just pull the plug to drain all the water out of it. And you can also do that when, you, when you're gonna travel with the unit. Just make sure that it's really, really well drained and that there's no water in there. And don't touch any of the pins with your hands. You know, just don't mess around with them. Don't try to scrape them. Nothing needs to be done to those pins. And that's about it, guys. So hopefully you guys found that helpful as far as how to do your monthly maintenance on your Hydrofix. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you're enjoying the videos and it helps the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. <laughs>